let us see topic 2.3.3 that is the range of lens we measure plenty of different types of distances which ranges from very low value means starting from some 10 to minus values to 10 to plus values so in our universe the range of length varies between a very very wide range let us say it starts from the lowest value like 10 to minus 14 meter 10 to minus 14 meter is the size of a nucleus and starting from that it goes up to a very very uh, large range or very very large distance that is the size of the observable universe which is 10 to plus 26 meter i say 10 to plus 26 meter and that is of observable universe mind well we have not yet observed the whole universe so the universe up to which we can see till now is or from where we can get the light is just up to 10 to 26 meter so this is the wide range of the measurement what we do in physics let us see one table by which we will come to know different sizes starting from minus values to plus values let us say the size of proton is of the range of 10 to minus 15 meter the size of atomic nucleus is of the range of 10 to minus 14 meter the size of hydrogen is of the range of 10 to minus 10 meter and the length of virus approximately is 10 to minus 8 meter wavelength of light 10 to minus 7 meter size of blood corpus is 10 to minus 5 thickness of paper 10 to minus 4 height of mount everest 10 to plus 4 radius of earth 10 to plus 7 distance of moon from earth 10 to 8 distance of sun from earth 10 to 11 distance of pluto from sun 10 to 13 the size of galaxy our galaxy 10 to 21 and the distance of Andromeda galaxy that is 10 to 22 and the distance of the boundary of observable universe is 10 to 26 as we say so this is the wide range now a part of all these uh, units we are using different types of units meter centimeter and so on there are some other special units also which are specially meant for this very small range and very large range of distances like the first one is one fermi it is also known as femtometer one fermi stands for 10 raised to minus 15 meter and it is denoted by 1 fm 1 fm is 10 raised to minus 15 meter which is nearly the size of nucleus i'm saying nearly the size of nucleus because the size of nucleus varies let us say if you start from hydrogen the size will be 10 to minus 15 meter and if you talk about the nu nucleus size of let us say uranium then it will be something like 10 to minus 14 meter so i am saying nearly 10 to minus 15 meter is the size of any nucleus now the size of atom that also vary but uh, generally the size of atom is of the range of 10 to minus 10 meter so one angstrom is the unit denoted specially for 10 to minus 10 meter which is the size of one atom that also vary but still it is taken as one angstrom you already know that a and above that you have to put a dot then comes a large unit that is one astronomical unit which is denoted by one au in capital you have to write one a and u that is astronomical unit this astronomical unit is having a value of 1.496 into 10 raised to plus 11 meter 1.496 into 10 raised to plus 11 meter is the range of this astronomical unit and it is the average distance between sun and earth so this unit is giving the value of distance between sun and earth so by this uh, unit we can say that if some star is let us say 10 astronomical units so we can come to know that it is 10 times farer than the sun is from earth so that's why 
this unit is used for specially astronomical purposes then one another large unit is one parsec it is one parsec denoted by one pc now this is also a large unit rather it is the largest unit of distance we can say and one pc stands for 3.08 into 10 to 16 meter 16 10 to 16 meter 3.08 into 10 to 16 meter distance is known as one parsec and how it is defined that is very interesting parsec is a distance at which you have to choose a point somewhere at very far distance so that point is let us say if it is having a distance of 1 parsec from earth then this parsec is the distance at which the average radius of earth's orbit subtends an angle of 1 second only i repeat parsec is a distance at which the average radius of earth's orbit subtends an angle of 1 second or also known as 1 arc second let me explain you by one figure here we have to consider the average radius of earth's orbit that means uh, the earth is orbiting around sun so here is let us say sun and the orbit of earth is shown that is the uh, earth here the blue color is the earth so this becomes the distance between sun and earth and that is the radius of earth now if you choose a point far away this is a point somewhere far away let us say point p from sun and from earth and if it is subtending an angle of 1 second there now think how far it has to be so that the angle becomes 1 second then in that case the distance from earth to that point is known as 1 parsec which is 3.08 into 10 to 16 meter 